I'd have to say as a general, um, general idea family, you know, um, and I think everything from having supportive parents who kind of initiated this and I'm very, very lucky that um, I was able to have that at a young age, that a lot of people don't have that opportunity and I, I'm very much aware of that, you know. There's that push and pull between um, supportive family but also a kind of everyone has that aspect of family that's kind of like, you know, pushing you like, are you, are you sure about this? Are you, you know, it, is this really what you want to do? I don't know, you know, and there's that kind of question mark and, and that, that's also another drive, you know. So uh, I can honestly say that my compositional process is not very typical each time. It's always different and um, uh, it can range from starting with a specific idea um, and then just kind of turning it inside out, maybe giving myself limits or some sort of framework, um, almost like some sort of a game um, where I still have to create something that I think is musical and that I think is me. But uh, in the last few years I have been working on just uh, more melodies that are more bass oriented and with that comes finding things that lay on the bass and um, how can I transfer that to the other instruments um, in a coherent way and, and uh, make it a fun musical experience for everyone too. I still work a lot on just the groove aspect and just fundamentals, solid fundamentals. It's, it's really uh, a good thing to keep reminding yourself of what needs to be done, you know, on the bass, you know. Um, but also I just, I just, um, I like to set aside some time just to play, you know, melody, stream of consciousness, not think about keys and if it launches into a, a standard or a tune, I, I try and push for that and, and uh, see how I can kind of follow through, you know, I, I'm kind of big on melodies and putting them in different keys and different um, registers and um, learning a melody as a melody, not, not necessarily tied to a specific tonal center sometimes, yeah. I think at the end of the day, it's important to be grounded no matter who you are, you know. Um, to have the self-awareness enough that you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, you obviously take input from exterior sources, whether it be friends or colleagues, that sort of thing, um, but you'd really try and stay true to yourself, you know. And, um, you know, one thing I always think is that um, whenever there's pushback, I try and see the good behind that and how I can use that pushback to push myself forward, you know. Uh, it's something I've always thought about and I'm grateful for some of these experiences in a weird way that have kind of set me back a bit because I've I've overcome those, those uh, instances, you know. And I think at the end of the day, things are looking to be better. I mean, in the, in the sense that I see more and more women playing um, in the scene and more and more women being appreciated um, for the musical um, input rather than maybe some other aspects, whether it be looks or, you know, um, other kind of more marketable aspects, you know. Um, so I feel like people are really starting to look beyond and, and try to check themselves. At the end of the day, um, you can't change everybody, but you can do the, the best that you possibly can to be a sincere musician and keep working hard and keep inspiring others, you know, and that's what I think about the most is just, you know, using this pushback to push yourself forward, you know, and, and I really believe in that. <laughs>